Hey guys, today we're going to go into photography and how it applies to your resale business. I'm going to be going over a few things. I'm going to answer a few questions. For instance, do you need props? What software is to use to edit your photos? How should I take my photos? Like what, what angles do I use? And I'm going to wrap it up step by step on how I take all my photos for my resale business, the angles that I use, props that I use, ish um and how much i have spent on everything we're also going to go over the cost of everything do you need lights do you need a you know super fancy camera etc <music> So before we start this video, let's play a little mini game that's called How much am I gonna resell these for? So these are Alice and Olive Sonia splatter paint wedges. Look how cool they are. They originally sell for about $198, but they have, let's see, a little, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but they have a little thing right here. So with that little blemish, how much am I gonna resell these for? And if you win, you get to brag that, hey, I know how Holland thinks. If you lose, your punishment is to subscribe to the Helicopter Bear YouTube channel. So let's see, how much do these resell for? Your options, or how much am I gonna resell these for? Your options are $120, $80, or $60. All right, so if you guessed $80, you are absolutely right. And if you guessed the others, I'm so sorry, you have to subscribe to the channel. Once you subscribe, hit the bell icon and also put in the comments, hey guys, I don't know how Holland thinks. So let's get to the video. Hey guys, Holland here from where the helicopter parent meets the papa bear. It's the helicopter bear and today, we are going to talk about photography. So a few people have asked me, Holland, how do you take your photos? What type of software do you use? You know, what type of lights do you use? What type of camera do you use? All of this stuff. And guys, you know me, I'm very, very frugal. So I'm gonna show you super, super cheap method on how I take my photos for my resale business. Before we start, let me answer the question do I need props? It depends on what you're selling. For me, I mostly focus on shoes. Um, so I actually do not use any props whenever I am taking pictures. The way I take photos, I actually take closer photos. So my photos don't really have room for props. And also because they're shoes, I want to take photos that show more details. There's certain things that you might need props for. If you're selling like more accessories, you're definitely gonna need props, you know, to balance it out. I'm selling shoes, I don't really need props. A lot of people ask me, do I need lights? The best light you can actually use is natural light. Natural light for your pictures is the best light you can use. How much did I spend on my setup? Do I use a special type of camera? How much I spent on my setup? I actually spent about a dollar on my setup to take pictures because remember I use natural light and if I'm taking pictures at night when my family is asleep, I actually use lamps. I went to the family dollar store and I just got two pieces of poster board and I'm going to show you how I set up everything to take pictures. So finally, before we take pictures, what software do I use to edit my photos? So the app I use to edit my photos is Adobe Lightroom. It's a free app. I mean, of course, there's like paid content and stuff on there if you want to get a little bit more detailed. I've been doing design for 10 plus years. I have the paid version. Um, it's super, super worth it. For me, the free version, honestly, is perfectly fine for just reselling. So let us get into taking photos. 
So the shoes that we're gonna be photographing are the softs. The reason I set it up with the window being on this side of me is because when natural light comes in, it hits it mostly right here. I don't mind getting this little bit of shadow because we can always take that away. When you're taking your pictures, you do not want to sit right here because you're going to cause a shadow onto this. So natural light right here. So let's let's start taking pictures and I'm actually going to be using, I'm going to be using my iPhone. First things first, you should probably have your photos in square format and if you have an iPhone, you can quickly click up here. You can click up here, change it to square format. So here we go. First pictures, uh, first picture angle I like to take is, and um, I, I rarely take pictures up here like this. I mostly take my picture, think if you're eye level with your product, think just a little bit up. So the, the photo is just, it, it's, right up here so first picture i always take with my shoes is fronts picture next we're gonna turn it just a little bit picture and we're just gonna keep on so right here we're gonna have the side profile picture at this point this is when i start to take details so we're gonna go back to this picture and I kind of get a little bit close up. So let's see how this kind of like a leather suede-ish looks. We see we have um, a little buckle right here. So let's take a picture of this buckle. Let's go ahead and also, because it has elastic, let's go ahead and kind of unbuckle it so let's unbuckle it so people know like okay this buckles it's in good shape take that picture let us flip it to the back so we have a picture right there and then so you start looking into at this point I start looking into does this have any blemishes so uh, when I cleaned it I noticed this was right here so I'm just gonna take a picture of it right there does it have any other blemishes you see? Kind of like sort of right in there. And the reason why I take all these blemishes is because some people are like, oh, if it has blemishes, people might not want it. You never want to, you never want to sell something to somebody and then they look and they're like, oh, I didn't know it had these. Um, so next I'm I'm gonna go in and take the size and all the descriptions right here. So it's uh, size 10 in women's. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bottoms and when I was cleaning it, I noticed or there was like these little spots and stuff. I couldn't really get them out. Um, people aren't really concerned with what, oh, it's just sneakers, not really concerned what the bottoms look like because they know they're used shoes. And you're gonna have like wear and tear. So I take the bottoms also go ahead and see if there's any descriptions right here so it says patent pending go ahead and pick that and then now i start to give it sort of like some cool little angles so we have this angle and i go this is when one of the only times i take aerial shots like this and then let's give it another kind of sort of angle last things last let us take the measurements of this. So right here, I get it from about to there, to about there, roughly about four inches. The reason I take pictures of this versus just tell people what it is, um, people, so people do their measurements differently. So if you tell them that you might be doing measurements a lot different than they do. So that's why I just take the picture to be like, hey, this is how I take, you know, measurements. So kind of like you have it there. So that is initially how I take pictures. So let's go into Lightroom and work on these pictures. Let us actually upload the pictures into Lightroom that we just took. So Lightroom right here. Um, so to select the picture, let us start, ignore all these, 
let us go through and you can kind of like swipe through and get all the pictures that I actually took and click add. What it is going to do, you see how it actually uploaded into here for me. Let's go to um, recently added. It's going to make it a lot easier. This view is a lot easier for me that you can click right up here and you see these are the recent pictures that I took today in person. Um, with me, I actually have a preset for the um, for the pictures that I've taken and I can kind of go through how to save a preset and stuff. So if I scroll through and you see all these previous pictures that I've taken, I can, uh, once you set a preset, you can hold down on here and you see how it says copy. I can copy what, what it's doing. It's copying all of the settings and I can scroll back up, hit right up here to highlight everything and click paste. Click apply. Okay, so click done. Let's go into the pictures because I know um, even though I have a preset, you know, preset helps me a little bit, but different pictures have different things going on with them. So I'm gonna have to, I know I'm gonna have to adjust a few things. So let's go into this one. Um, I kind of, actually I like the way this one is. Um, I don't see any blemishes here. So right here we have that, we have that. Actually I do, I do like the way these turn out. That's all right. So you see how awesome and amazing these pictures came out. So now to get all of these pictures, all you have to do again is pull down one of the pictures. You see right here where it says minus, you can click there. Right here, you just click share and export to camera roll. And pretty much that is how I take my pictures. So now if we look into our photos, the pictures are back and then we can just upload them straight to Poshmark. Let's go back and uh, talk about presets and stuff. Let me show you how to sort of create a preset. Let's go back to this photo. I really like everything about, you know, the lighting, everything on this. So we go to presets and right up here, you're gonna click that and you're gonna click where the dots are, you're gonna click Create preset. Name the preset into um, cool shoes preset. So let's go with right here. And voila. Do you see all of the, and it shows under uh, your user presets. So click X right here. So if you need to see where the preset is, you click presets. You can look through it and you see where it says user presets. I have it right here and it's cool shoes presets. Click on it, it's gonna adjust everything. So say for instance, let me go ahead and darken this light up. And it's like, oh crap, I kinda wanted, I took this picture too dark. I wanna use my preset on it. You click preset, cool shoes presets right there. And remember guys, you can go in, if this is too bright, I can go in to like lights, I can adjust the exposure, the contrast, go into effects, change, you know, different things. Or if I messed up and I want to go back, I can click there, cool presets. I hope this tutorial was really, really helpful for you all. If you all want other tutorials, you know, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be making a lot more. I think my next one will probably be, um, the settings that I use for uh, the bot that helps me out, which is um, Posture VA. And then I'm also gonna do, you know, a few other tutorials on how I source or, you know, even like how I clean shoes and stuff. So if y'all stick around, thank y'all, have a good day.